Kira, I'm Stu, and today I'm going to take you on a grow house tour, or a tunnel house tour, and a beautiful balmy Catlin's day, I think it's 8 degrees today here in Catlin's. Right, let's begin the tour. Okay, what we got here is we've got some gourds over here, these are gourds, um, these are earth gems, these are pretty cool little things, all the colours on these. Pretty cool. They come in the purple as well. They're pretty awesome. These are just different seeds. Another thing we're flat out doing at the moment is planting garlic. We've got all different cultivars of garlic plants. Time to get it in the ground with winter coming on. So that's two of the different varieties. More of our garlic to be planted, a lot of purple varieties. We have both soft neck and hard neck garlic. And this chili here is a bit of a disappointment. I bought some chili seeds on the internet. Was really excited about them, about maybe 15 different varieties of super hots. And it turned out to be a have. I'll show you the seed that I got. And all of the chilies turned out the same. Someone had just got the same chilies from this ornamental chili and put them in different packets and sold them to mugs like me. So be cautious of that out there. There are some haves in the chili world. Always buy from a reputable seed dealer if you can. And these are some pods that I grew. Um, they're from my favourite chili last year that's crossed with a porto, it looks like. I'm interested to see what colour they'll come out at. This is one of my favourite plants. This is a Yaki Blue, or can you see the pods on that? They're beautiful little purple pods. I haven't tried one yet, but they're supposed to be quite hot. Awesome colours though. And the plant's quite a purple colour when it grows too. Okay, we have some shallots ready to be planted. And my wife grows some pretty awesome cherry tomatoes, trust tomatoes, they're still ripening up. Very sweet. Okay, over here we have some yellow Mexican chilies, Canaan variety. Beautiful colour and beautiful and hot too. Uh, we also do a whole lot of heritage potatoes. These are a very ancient potato, come from the Muffin Bird Island originally. It was found out back in one of the huts. This is a Copan chilli from Hot Air. It's very, very nice chilli. Lots and lots of fruit on it, all twisty and shaky. And they came in all cool shapes and sizes. And here we have purple prints. Beautiful little chili, lovely purple wheat flower, and quite a tangy hot fruit. Here we have one of our favourite chilies that has been growing for two years. It's a really, really sweet little Canaan chili. It's also got a nice wee bite with it, but it's a two year old plant, it hasn't grown very big, but it's surviving, so that's all you can hope for in our cooler climate. This is a ricotto pod. Still green, it will go dark red when it's ready. Beautiful plant, nice sweet flesh and super hot seeds. Use them in a pepper grinder for making a hot pepper. So that's the ricotto and they've got a lovely little purple flower. This next one's a beauty, it comes all the way from New Jersey and it is used in my favourite sauce here, New Jersey Barnfire original sauce. It's a little hab, a little orange hab. The wee pod that's just starting to blood up down here that you can see but it's a it's a nice looking plant and I've got some good pods over here ready to go won't be far and they'll be ripening up good so in here's the hottest in the grow house it's a chocolate scorpion but I believe and this chilli got me kicked out of a competition for eating it. It's just incredibly hot and florally sort of a flavour and I struggle with it so I had to grow it. And surprisingly enough, it seems to be doing alright. Got some, some nice pods forming in here that you can see just starting to blood up and they are exceptionally hot. They make your whole mouth go numb these ones. So that's the chocolate scorpion. And this here's our basket chili. It's 
an awesome little basket chili that grows in pots mainly. Got small leaves and really, really small pods, like Canaan style pods that are exceptionally hot. They'll paralyze your mouth. We always trick a lot of people with these because they're hot as. Check out the stinger on these Primo. Also known as Carolina Reapers. <laughs> 